say this with my chest, there are far more women struggling to find love and relationships than men. Yes, I agree, bad men exist, but these men are created, not born. And I'll tell you what's causing this, toxic feminism. What feminism does is simultaneously teach women to detest masculine traits in men, but cultivate them in themselves. So for instance, a man that cheats is trash, but a woman who cheats is a bad bitch. Or a man that sexualizes women is misogynistic, but a woman should sell her nudes online and she's a bad bitch. But the biggest problem with feminism is that it makes women reject their feminine traits. So they no longer want to be loyal or nurturing. As a result, we're breeding a generation of men who no longer aspire to provide, protect, and most importantly, respect women because they can access them and replace them. So yes, men are struggling to find love, but it might be because this generation of women is not what they want. So this woman is very well, well informed. I feel like she broke it down very well. Right now, it is so toxic in this environment that feminism has warped, or I would say toxic feminism has warped a lot of women's minds into thinking they are just like men, they can be like men, but at the same time, they get all the benefits, chivalry, and other things uh, that need to come from traditional men, although they're modern women. And a man can do one thing, and it's seen as toxic, but if a woman does it, it's empowering. And so I think a lot of women are wondering, well, where are all the good men? Where's the chivalry? Where's the, you know, the romance? Where are all these things that we saw in the Disney movies? But what they don't realize is that most of us are not behaving like the princesses in the movies. We, the, when did you last see a princess talk about she was a man and she could do everything like a man? When did she say she didn't need no man? A lot of times in those movies, the man rescued her. And I'm not saying that women need rescuing, but I think a lot of women want rescuing nowadays because those pictures and things that were put into our head in childhood or what we've seen on TV, movies, magazines, blogs, wherever, is that men should be these chivalrous, romantic creatures. And no matter what a woman does, he should just accept it and be just so happy that she chose him. Well, the reality is that men just aren't choosing us anymore. They don't want, they don't want to get married. It's, let me change that. They, they do want to get married. They just don't see the benefits of it because so many women exude all these masculine qualities. And see, to other women, that's empowering. That's, that's attractive because by default, usually women are more attracted to masculine things, masculine features, masculine personalities. But when a woman adopts those same masculine qualities, they mimic it in a man, it's repulsive to a woman. I want you to think as a woman, a man who exudes feminine qualities, is that attractive to you? Would you find that really endearing, a man that was emotional and like, and, and doing all the things that we do? Why don't you tell me that I look good? Uh, I said, are you cheating? Like, you know, all the, the thing drama that women do. You know, what if a guy's like, do I look fat in these pants? And if you give him an honest answer, he gets mad and doesn't talk to you for hours. You know, all these things as a woman, we would call that man just effeminate, spoiled, acting like a bee. You know how it goes. Who hurts you? So we cannot be expecting uh, these traditional chivalrous men um, to be in great relationships and, and, and faithful and doing all these things when we ourselves are, are doing the opposite. I don't know why this modern dating has, has deluded women into thinking that this is going to work. But over and over, we're seeing the results aren't working on that. So a lot of women are going to have to put this modern feminism away, this toxic feminism away, and embrace their, their true femininity again. It's okay to need a man. It's okay to be dependent. It's okay to want to get married. It's okay to want to be a wife. It's a good thing. It's how God designed women, our feminine to match up with the masculine and for us to create families and build community. But right now we can't build community. We, can't, we can barely build anything because we are so divided and women are going to have to dial it back. Rarely do you see men exuding these feminine, feminine qualities, but you see so many masculine women, especially on TikTok. It is just over and over and over and over again where they just feel like they're besting men. And, and if a man can't do this, I'm strong. We don't need no man. I mean, it's just a complete trash talking over and over again. We cannot expect these men to step up and do the right thing when we ourselves are not doing it. 
I don't know why this demand is there. I don't know why this delusion is there, but we're going to have to break that fourth wall, let the scales fall off your eyes, repent honestly, and come to the end of yourself because pride comes before the fall. Pride tells us we're just like men. Pride and ego tells us that we don't need no man. And the reality is none of us can get through this life alone. None of us can get through this life without help and without pairing up with a man, without creating a family and a legacy. What is it going, life is going to look like for you at 60, 70, 80 and beyond? Honestly, 40, 50, 60, you know, keep going. It's going to be alone and miserable. And most people need two incomes to even complete life.